T minus 15 seconds, stand by for terminal count. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ignition, lift off. And you see on your screen, we have had successful liftoff of Falcon 9 carrying Zuma. We have cleared the tower, so we're now coming up on two events that is going supersonic and max Q. Now, maximum aerodynamic pressure is when we are at the point of maximum stress on the vehicle. From that point on, we're going through thinner and thinner atmosphere, so stress will continually decrease. And we've just passed max Q. So again, that means that as we ascend higher and higher, the atmosphere is thinner and we do not need to have as much stress on the vehicle. Now, we're gonna go through four events here in rapid succession, and those are in order, MECO, stage separation, SES-1, and the boost backburn. Now, MECO stands for main engine cutoff. That's when the first stage stops firing. There follows stage separation when first and second stage depart from each other. SES-1 is the third event. That stands for second engine start. That's when second stage begins firing. And then the fourth event in that sequence is the boost back burn. That's when first stage begins firing again to start its trajectory back to landing zone one. Now that sequence will occur at about 15 seconds in duration, starting about 15 seconds from now. Oh, so this is RC on countdown. Please, the relinquish control of the camera, please. Roger. States have confirmed. Stage one is at its foot. Now we've had successful confirmation of, again, MECO, stage separation, second engine start, and the boost back burn. Now, next major milestone is fairing separation. That should occur any second now. We're not gonna show video, co video coverage of it, but we will confirm that the fairings have separated, meaning that Zuma and second stage are the only vehicles continuing on to their final orbit. Stage one, boost back shutdown. Yeah, you got it. We got the second stage. Second stage. Yeah, yep. second stage right here. Yeah, second stage. Okay. These are seven done now. Why the camera's getting the boom of the second stage? You want me to try and focus in? No, no, no. Leave it. Okay. Alright, I'm going to wait for. Uh, okay. Alright, I got second stage now. Stage one entry burn has started. And stage one entry burn shut down. 
And as you just heard and saw, we had successful startup and shutdown of the re-entry burn, the second of three burns in the phase to get back to landing zone one. Now the third and final one, as it is self-named, is the landing burn. This one lasts a little bit longer. It's about 17 seconds in duration. It's coming up in about 30 seconds. So we should get pretty good. We should get pretty good footage of it coming down from the top of the screen. And again, that's a 17 second burn. So the legs deploy and we touch down on the surface of landing zone one here in this attempt. Stage one is transonic. Stage one landing burn is started. some great ocular reflection as the heat and the light from the engine reflected off of landing zone one so you could see it as it deployed its legs and touched down. Now with the transition from the successful deployment of the payload fairings and the landing of the secondary mission that first stage, we'll now conclude our coverage of this Zuma mission. We'd like to thank our customer Northrop Grumman. We'd like to thank the United States Air Force and the Cape Canaveral Air Force Station range for all their support in every single mission.